Let's take a look at the improvements we've made to the original flip stop for the TSO parallel guide. Of course, the, one of the keys here, besides the ability to move it, is the ability to lock it in place and uh, move it at will. We found an opportunity to improve on this in the version 2 that I've got here. As you would expect, it still has the locked capability. Uh, it also, of course, can be moved. But notice the difference. I moved it, I didn't tighten it, and it stayed put. So now I can make tiny little precision adjustments by moving the flip stop with just rotating, in this case, the tip of my thumb and watching it. It's barely moving, tiny little amounts for great precision, greater adjustment control. You really like this. Let's take a look at some of the other benefits that come with the new version 2. Let me show you the action of the spring load on the knob and see how it moves the nut plate and keeps it in position until you're ready to lock it down completely. The flip stop uh, movement with the spring load action I just demonstrated is made possible by the addition of a counter bore to receive a finely calibrated compression spring that provides just the right amount of drag to make it easy to move while at the same time avoiding unintentional movement. Uh, you'll notice the uh, memory calibration collar. This clamping collar goes on the wide stock standard calibration rod that you see here. Uh, and in comparison to the original calibration rod, you see that it is now longer and the head diameter has also been increased. The other uh, change affects the screw that holds the whole calibration rod in the arm of the flip stop. And that's a bit of a, of a story to it. Uh, be patient with me. The, originally, we had a four millimeter screw th thread that had a two and a half millimeter socket in the button head, if I can get all this out. We thought it really was worthwhile to have a custom screw made that looks nice, uh, from an appearance standpoint, recesses into the head. And so we came out with a screw that has a three millimeter hex socket, still has the four millimeter threads. We ran into some difficulties with that uh, part and uh, ended up landing with something that looks a little more industrial in the form of this stainless steel socket head cap screw. Uh, they all still have uh, four millimeter threads, but this one has a three millimeter hex socket. So what you end up with now, besides having this very robust uh, screw holding all this together, is one driver fits this, it fits that much smaller uh, screw that holds the, that clamps the uh, collar, and of course the socket head cap screw that locks everything into the arm. So it just become a little bit uh, simpler on top of all the other conveniences that we've added. When you're going to cut a uh, stock that is narrower than the seven inch nominal width of the guide rail, you'll want to use the narrow stock calibration rod. And in order to retain the calibration of your previous setting, the calibration memory collar, of course, remembers that. So now you can install the narrow stock calibration rod, lock it in place, perform your narrow stock cuts. When you're done, remove it, add the calibration memory collar that remembers where it was set before, secure it, and you're all set. If your workflow involves 
repeat changes from standard width material to narrow stock, stock narrower than the width of the guide rail, you may want to take advantage of the option of having a clamping collar, a memory collar, added to your narrow stock rods. These are now available as an option. Uh, come in a set of two, and it's one more way to make this an even easier to use, user-friendly flip stop. Got an email from a customer who's an early adopter of our original TPG parallel guide system. And he purchased a version two of the flip stops in addition to his existing set. And uh, here's, what, here's what he wrote. He said, the new V2 of the flip stops are awesome. Much easier to make small adjustments on the rail with a spring-loaded mechanism. Couldn't have said it better myself. He's interested in upgrading his original set of flip stops. And the good news is we have such a set. It's in stock and ready to ship. Thank you for watching.